Hi guys, Cindy here from Pleasant Sims. Welcome to episode 53 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing the Goth family, which consists of Alexander Goth, his wife Lucy, and their little boy Casper, who is just two years old, and the family dog Carrie. The Goths live here at 190 Sim Lane, which is the house that Alexander bought after he graduated from college. And uh, Lucy moved in with him right after college. They got married, had a nice little wedding right at the home, and then Lucy was soon pregnant with their first child, Casper. Um, so the Goth family has a net worth of 33,609 simoleons. Actually, their net worth is higher than that because they have 14,600 in their bank account. After we did all the calculations, they ended up owing 1,800 simoleons in taxes, so we'll have to pay that right away as soon as we get the lot loaded. Here we are in the goth home. It's 6 a.m. here, and everybody should be waking up. I just wanted to give you a nice view of the outside of Lucy and Alex's house. It's a very lovely home, and we've started furnishing it for them with some of the money that they had uh, after they got out of college. Alexander did get his portion of the goth fortune from his sister Cassandra, which is what enabled him to have such a nice home right out of school. And then Lucy, of course, benefited from that by being able to move right in with them and get married. So let's, let's go in and take a look and see what's going on. Okay, we have little Casper's room uh, right up here. And this is an adorable little nursery set, uh, if you'll remember from the last time we played them, that I furnished this room with. And then here is uh, Alex and Lucy's room. They're just getting out of bed. They've actually been reset because I added some mods in. And uh, you can see the auto shades here that match the bedding. They don't look that nice when they're closed, though. I don't know. I might replace those. <laughs> we have some work to do on their house, but this is just to get them started. Um, oh, their bathroom is filthy. So, first of all, before we pay the taxes, I want to talk about the new skins. Once again, guys, bear with me because I'm experimenting with skins and trying to find the perfect ones. So, I think I got pretty close this time. The shiny skins are gone. I know you guys hated those. And after I played with them for a little while, I didn't like them either. They were just, they just didn't go with the Maxis Match uh, theme that I had going on. So, I got these skins and these were recommended to me by one of my uh, Twitter followers and also subscribers here. Leah. Thank you, Leah, very much for this uh, suggestion. I ended up trying these out and uh, let's see here. These came from a somebody's dream width from like 2014. So you can see how Alexander's skin looks and Alexander has skin one and then let's go look at Lucy real quick. Lucy has skin two. So here she is, and she looks really pretty, I think. Um, I think they both look really cute. Let's look at little Casper as well. Oh my, look at Casper's hair. <laughs> so since I put the default replacement hairs in, uh, Casper's hair has definitely changed, and I'm just going to go into camera mode so we can get a little bit closer to him here and see this hair. He has got some majorly curly hair. Now, I think I'm going to change this because both of his parents have really straight hair. I don't think it makes sense that he would have like this really curly hair genetically. So we're going to change his hair. But um, doesn't he look adorable? And now I'm back to Max's match. Uh, this is kind of what I wanted, just an updated Max's match. So you guys leave a comment below and let me know what you think. How do my Sims look now? Is this better? <laughs> I think I know your answer because I like it much better too. Okay, so that's out of the way. And I just noticed uh, whenever I selected Alexander that he had the desire to have a baby. Oh my gosh, I've got to lock that in, you guys, because I need another baby. We haven't had a baby in like two or three households. So I'm dying for a new Sims baby. So I'm going to lock that in. Now, he also wants to get a promotion, woohoo in bed, and go on vacation. So now I have to decide which of these I want to choose for him. I think we're going, I'm going to go with promotion and baby. They can go on a vacation anytime and I'm sure that he will roll the want to go on vacation again in the future. But right now it's prime baby making time. <laughs> so we're going to select those two. And let's see, what time does Alexander have to go to work? Alexander works as an architect's apprentice. He is level five in the architecture career, which is the career that he wanted to go into after college. 
Um, and he has to go to work today at 9 a.m., so he's going to have to start getting ready for work. Luckily, most of his needs are met here. Um, he just needs to go to the bathroom. Oh, Lucy already wanted to have a baby. She also fears having a baby. Hmm. Well, I don't know what we're going to do about that. She also wants to go on vacation, invite someone over, blah, blah, blah. I'll keep vacation locked in. You know what? Since they both want to go on vacation. Hmm. You know, since they both want to go on vacation, I guess we have no choice but to send them on vacation. They didn't get a honeymoon because Lucy got pregnant with Casper. So maybe it's time that they hire somebody to watch little Casper and we take them out and let them uh, go on vacation. And they can try for baby while they're on vacation. They'll be nice and relaxed and uh, able to do some uh, baby making. <laughs> Lucy, she works as a sea lice research assistant. She is in the oceanography career, which is the career that she chose for herself. Um, she is off today, but it doesn't really matter because I think I'm just going to go ahead and send them off on vacation for a couple days uh, before little Casper ages up. And we have about three days before Casper ages up. So first things first, I'm going to have Alexander pay the taxes. So let's do that. And here is their lovely living room and dining room covered in flies. So he's going to go down here and pay the taxes. And then we're going to have Lucy book a vacation for them. So I'm going to just send her down here to the phone. Okay, we're going to send Alexander and Lucy on a three-day, two-night vacation. And where do we want to send them? That is the question. <laughs> Total airfare is 1,000 simoleons. I did have Alexander go ahead and withdraw some money out of the bank account uh, for them to take with them. Now, we've already been to Takamizu twice. We haven't been to Three Lakes, and we haven't been to Tweaky Island. Now, Three Lakes, I think, is a place where my more, uh, let's say, my less wealthy Sims are going to be going on vacation because it costs less to go camping. I think Alexander and Lucy are going to go on an island vacation because they have the money for it. Okay, I'm so excited. Here we are on Tweaky Island, and we get to choose where we'd like to stay. So let's take a look at the uh, different hotels here. Um, we have the Double Palm Resort, the Tweaky Beach Hotel, or the Potter House Bungalows, or the Blossomwood Hotel. And this looks like a lower cost one. I would really like them to stay on the beach if we could afford it. And I, I think I only took out a couple thousand simoleons, so I'm not sure if they're going to be able to afford this. Oceanfront relaxation and easy beach access. Nothing beats the, tweak, the Tweaky Hotel. I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, so I'm going to choose this for them. And if worse comes to worse, I will cheat them some money and then we'll just take it out of their bank account when we get home. So we're going to choose this uh, beach hotel. Lucy and Alexander are arriving at their beach hotel. This is beautiful, and I think they are going to have a great time here. Okay, welcome to our hotel. P please pick a suite. All right, so let's choose a room for them. This is their belated honeymoon because they never got to go on a honeymoon after they got married, and they just hired a nanny to come and stay with Casper. He will be perfectly fine until they get back. So let's choose something, uh, here we go. We're gonna choose this room over here with a nice double bed and the balcony that's right on the beach. Oops, let's choose the door and reserve suite 883 per night. And they're gonna be staying two nights, so they should, they should definitely have enough to cover that. So Alexander is going to go, or somebody's gonna go and check in. Or they're just going to, you know, do a little making out in the middle of the street. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have Alexander check in now. And then we can go explore the grounds and see what they want to do. I know that they want to spend a little quality time together in their room. Lucy, she was just thinking that the, the bellhop guy here was attractive. 
Okay, so we're just going to do a quick look around the hotel here. Um, I have never had my Sims stay in this hotel before, so this is a new experience for me. And it looks like the hotel has a restaurant right inside of it. That is so great. I love that. And then we have some public bathrooms. It looks like there's a changing room over here and some showers. Uh, what else do we have? We're just right on the beach. So they can come and spend some time out here relaxing. They have their lovely patio here. And then if we go upstairs, uh, there are more rooms upstairs, more very nice rooms. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all that's going on here at the hotel. Just a restaurant, some nice rooms, and a lovely beach access. There's all these nice stairs going right down to the beach. And I also just wanted to put up the... Uh, Put up the walls and the roof so we could kind of see what the hotel looks like from the outside. I just love these balconies that are right on the beach. Wouldn't that be a nice place to go on vacation? I think so. So here's how the hotel looks. And now I guess we're ready to find out what these two want to do. So, so far, um, Alexander loves to hustle pool. He learned how to do that in college and he constantly wants to do it. Um, neither of them has really have really rolled any wants related to the vacation. So I think they're just going to go check out their room and maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe relax on the bed for a minute. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to have them try for a baby right away. Thanks for checking in. Collect mementos of your trip through shopping, digging up treasures, or finding new items to become a well-rounded vacationer. So, like I was saying, I don't know if I want them to try for baby right away because then Lucy's going to be sick and everything on their vacation. So, we might wait until the end for that unless they just take it upon themselves. But right now, they just kind of want to talk and hang out. Uh, Alexander would like to meet someone new and Lucy also wants to talk and entertain and play. They're just going to watch TV. They're probably just so relieved to get away from their little toddler as much as they love him. Um, just to have a rest and not have to take care of a baby. It must be very nice for them. Well, here, here are Alex and Lucy telling jokes in the bathroom. <laughs> She's talking about her brother, Kevin. They're talking about how many friends they have or something. And she's like, Kevin's my friend. He can be your friend too. <laughs> and now they're starting to want to get wants to make out with each other. <laughs> and they're both in platinum. They're having such a good time. Oh my gosh. Okay, Alexander now wants to woohoo with Lucy. Um, they've only been here for a couple hours, but they have been having such a great time just being alone together. That's all that they've wanted to do. Um, just stay in their room and be alone together. That is so sweet. Oops, don't sleep in pajamas. So I'm going to let them go and have their woohoo. They both want to woohoo with each other. And they both want to try for baby. But I think right now we're just going to let them have their regular woohoo. Oh my. <laughs> And then if uh, she gets pregnant, she gets pregnant. But if not, then we'll try uh, later on. I saw some other travelers moving around outside their room. I just think it's adorable that they have no desire to even go to the beach, go to anywhere else. They just want to be together. So let's have them woohoo. <laughs> they wasted no time. They just jumped right into it. And then we'll see what they want to do after this. Alexander's getting pretty hungry, so they'll probably be going to dinner soon, and I think they'll just go to the restaurant right in the hotel. Now he wants to earn money. Tell a dirty joke to Lucy, play with Lucy, and flirt with Lucy. Okay. And Lucy just wants to hang out with him, too. That's all they want to do, so that's what they're going to do. <laughs> I love it. But right now, they're going to get up and get ready to go to dinner. It's only 4.30 in the afternoon, but Alexander was starving, so they decided to go ahead and, and walk on over to the restaurant. And they're being seated here now. So let's move over so we can watch them eat. Lucy's gained enthusiasm in cuisine. I mean, we'll just wait for the waitress to come over. 
There are some tourists hanging around back here. Here she comes. This is the waitress that looks exactly like Lilith. I swear that she also worked at the 50s diner. <laughs> That's crazy. I guess she got a job at Tweaky Island. So we're going to order the chef's choice so they can both have exactly what they want. Okay, the waitress is talking about music. <laughs> and Alexander's like, I'm starving, lady. Get on with it. Take our order already. <laughs> I always think it's so interesting to see what they order for themselves. It looks like Alexander wants some pie or cake or something. Okay, here comes their order. And ta-da! Alexander ordered a giant piece of cake for dinner. And Lucy ordered mac and cheese. <laughs> They're at this fancy four-star restaurant on an island. And they get cake and mac and cheese. <laughs> They have simple taste. A lot of money, but simple taste. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, um, Alexander and Lucy just got finished with dinner, and I was sending Alex back to the room to use the bathroom and take a bath so that they could go spend some time on the beach this evening, but they decided that they had other plans in mind. They were just gonna go ahead and strip down and jump in bed together. <laughs> so, here they go. Um, this was their idea. Um, it looks like they're just casual kissing. I mean, these two are all over each other. It's so sweet. I mean, they are really technically still newlyweds. They've only been married for a very short time and they had a baby right away. So they haven't ha been able to spend a lot of time together, you know, as man and wife. So they're enjoying themselves here in the hotel very much, <laughs> as you can see. And, uh, oh, they're just relaxing now. I don't, I don't know... I thought they were going to woohoo because normally when they strip down and relax in bed, that's what they do. But it looks like they're just going to make out a little now. I almost feel creepy like sitting here watching them do this. Like I feel like I'm spying in, into their bedroom or something. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to speed it up because you're making me feel creepy. Do you guys ever feel like that when you watch her? Oh my gosh, they're trying for baby. Oh, 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 I gotta stop. I gotta stop. They're trying for baby on their own. So that's what they want to do? Okay, we're gonna possibly have another goth baby sooner than expected. I wasn't gonna have them try until the last day of their vacation, but they just could not wait. Bye? Some townie just told us bye. I didn't even know she was here. All right, so... <laughs> That's exciting. So they're probably just going to go to sleep then after this. And we'll see if tomorrow if they want to do anything else on the island. Um, I'm hoping that they'll want to like go on a tour or go check out the beach or do something besides just woohoo for three days. But hey, it's their vacation if that's what they want to do. It's almost 7 a.m. on Tuesday and Alexander and Lucy are just waking up after their first night on vacation, um, their love-cation, because <laughs> they haven't left the hotel room yet, but Alexander's feeling quite hungry this morning, and Lucy's a little bit hungry. I'm just going to take care of their needs here, and then we'll send them out to get something to eat, and just to force them to get out of the hotel, I'm actually going to send them to another lot to eat. Um, so we'll see where there is to go eat here on the island, and they'll go get some breakfast. Alexander still doesn't really want to do anything. He wants to play Marco Polo, so maybe they could go somewhere with a pool. And Lucy wants to fish, so maybe we could work that in somewhere. We'll look at the available lots as soon as Lucy gets out of the bathroom. Okay, here's what we have available. The ancient ruin ruins of Numchuck. Um, I don't think this is where they want to go right now. We don't want to go to another hotel Fruitville Village. While picking up some groceries, stop by and enjoy the best fruit salad available on the island. Oh, that sounds perfect. They can go and have some fruit salad for breakfast. This specialty dish is made with a native recipe handed down from generation to generation. It will juice you up. <laughs> okay, well, Lucy and Alexander are going to go get juiced up at Fruitville Village. And Lucy says, ah, it's nice to finally unwind a little as they head out here to Fruitville Village. And I'm going to put the walls up on the buildings just so we can see how nice everything looks. 
Oh, and they went straight over and got some juice. I did not direct them to do that. That's just what they wanted to do. Or some fruit salad. I'm not exactly sure what they ordered. I assume it was fruit salad. <laughs> and here are some locals. Some local islanders just hanging out. Um, Goopy Kimbrel. Wow, this guy's name is Goopy. And Alexander ordered... I'm not sure what that is. Some kind of island dish with rice and meat, it looks like. And we'll see what Lucy got. Alexander's really going to town on that. He ate that in like three seconds. Okay, I know she ordered something. Teriyaki Mahi Mahi. Oh, that must be what Alexander ordered as well. And here comes Lucy's Mahi Mahi. No, that looks different from what Alexander got. I'm not sure what he got. After they finish eating, or after Lucy finishes eating, they'll go explore and see what they can find uh, here on this lot. It's been a long time since I've played on the island, and I don't really remember what all is available on what lots. So this is just like a fruit stand. Let's go see. I, I, I don't know if this is just going to be like a regular grocery interaction if she goes to buy. Yeah, it's just buy food. So they don't need to buy any food for their uh, hotel rooms. So they're not going to do that. But at least they were able to get some breakfast here. Oh, look. Alexander's trying to learn the bow. Alexander and Lucy are trying to learn the bow. I don't think there's much else for them to do here uh, besides just talk to the locals, which they seem to be enjoying. Alexander just wants to talk about his hobby and play Marco Polo and influence people to do things. And Lucy just wants to slow dance and do a bunch of crap that she can do anywhere. So that doesn't help us. I'm going to see if I can find them a pool since he wants to play Marco Polo. I'm basically having to really work with their wants here to try to push them out, out of their comfort zone. After they had a nice breakfast, I sent Lucy and Alexander over to another hotel in the hopes that this hotel would have a pool they could use. Um, and Alexander thinks this vacation was worth every penny. So I'm going to zoom out here and see if we can find a pool. And it does appear that there is a pool in the back. He wanted to go and play Marco Polo, which is why I was trying to find a pool for them. But now he's changed his mind now that he's come here and he wants to use the sauna and get a massage and soak in the hot springs. And this is the first time he's wanted to do any vacation stuff. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, Lucy's still not really into it. So, but we're going to go ahead and let him go in here and get a massage. Um, purchase a hot stone massage. That sounds nice. And then maybe if he still wants to, he can use the sauna. Maybe they'll head on over to the hot springs. And I'll keep an eye on Lucy to see if there's anything she wants to do. Uh, maybe we could find a place for her to fish. I'm not sure if there is one on the island, but we could try. Lucy decided to go into the sauna. Um, so Alexander will join her there shortly after he gets his hot stone massage. Alex and Lucy have been soaking in the hot springs for several hours now. It's so relaxing. Um, they're just having a great time. They've been chatting about all kinds of grown-up stuff. They haven't been talking about the kids at all. They're talking about music and just not talking about work or anything stressful. And it's really increasing their energy. And they're just doing, they're having so much fun. They're having the best time. They love the island life. Um, even though I kind of wish I would have had them stay at this hotel because they seem to like it better here than the fancy hotel we put them in. <laughs> but Alexander has to go to the bathroom and he's getting quite hungry. So I think they'll head back soon and go get grab some dinner. Back at the hotel, Lucy says, this place is absolutely perfect. I can't wait to come back. They're having such a great time. Um, they're going to come and get some dinner at the hotel restaurant and then probably go back to their room and cuddle and watch TV and just hang out together for the rest of the night. Tomorrow's their last day here on the island. They've gone to another hotel and they went to the little fruit market. And that's pretty much all they've done. They haven't even really visited the beach. So we'll see what they want to do. See if they want to do anything after dinner. 
Um, because, oh, actually, it's breakfast. It's still 9 a.m. when they got back. Wow. So they actually still have a lot of time left. They have all day today and tomorrow morning. So after they eat, where is Alexander? Where did he go? Oh, here he comes. Okay. So after they eat what is now going to be their breakfast, we'll see what they want to do. I would like for them to go and relax on the beach or something, but they, it looks like they both want to go fishing. And once again, Alex and Lucy have ordered their favorite dishes. And this townie just came and stole Alexander's cake and he is starving. Oh my gosh, dude. Seriously? Yeah, he did. So he's going to have to order again. Lucy and Alexander have decided to call a taxi because it's raining outside so they don't want to walk. But they both want to go fishing. I don't think there's anywhere to fish here in Tweaky Island. But I'm going to take that to mean that they want to visit the water. They can't actually fish in the ocean, but they can go to the ocean. And I know there's a beach right out behind the hotel. But they really want to go and explore more of the island since they paid so much money to come and visit it. And just get away from the hotel. Although they're both going out to build a sandcastle. Okay, so let's take them to one of these beach lots. Um, let's go to South End Beach, I guess. It says, come explore the beautiful sands and waters of the infamous South End Beach where Bilious Bob the Pirate washed ashore while searching for the monkey ruins of Jumbok the <laughs> Fourth. Okay. We have arrived at South End Beach. It's the one with the big pirate ship. I absolutely love that. And I just realized that I haven't put my uh, skies, I haven't beautified the, the neighborhood here in the vacation neighborhood. So the sky is still just like this plain blue color. So I'm trying to not look at it. Just look at the pretty water. And let's see what they're going to do here. Um, they're going to go build a sandcastle. They both have been trying to do this. So I'm going to let them do it. And then now Lucy wants to buy a souvenir, play pirates, build a sandcastle. So we're going to let them do all these things that they want to do. Um, Alexander wants to buy some jewelry and sunbathe. Let's see what kind of castle they come up with here. Can Lucy help him? Can they do this together? Yeah, help build sandcastle. And let me just try to get a better uh, angle here so we can watch them build it. This looks so fun. This makes me want to go uh, play in the sand. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's their sandcastle. <laughs> Not very good, guys. I wonder if their skill can improve. So now I'm going to have them come and play on the ship because Lucy wants to play pirates. So I'm not sure if this is going to satisfy that want, but let's find out. I'll just have them do random things on the ship like climb the crow's nest. Oh my gosh, Alexander, come cl climb the crow's nest. All right, here they go. <laughs> Lucy keeps thinking about adopting a baby, but she does not need to adopt a baby because they are going to have a baby. There she goes. <laughs> That's so cute. And Alexander's up in the crow's nest now. Check this out. Alexander's up in the crow's nest, scanning the seas, scanning the high seas for pirates. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I see things. I see things up here, and now he's going back down. Oops. I don't know what Lucy's doing. Let's have her walk the plank. Lucy, get over here and walk the plank. So, this is not satisfying their want to play pirates. I don't know, exactly know how they can do that. I guess I need to look that up. Explore pirate ship. Oh, she's walking the plank. This is so much fun. I love the pirate ship. <laughs> They can just go and play, and it's so fun. What else can we do here? Um, explore the pirate ship. Alexander, he doesn't really want to do anything else on the pirate ship. He does want to sunbathe and buy a souvenir. Um, I'm going to send him out here to sunbathe 
on the beach, and then Lucy also wants to sunbathe, so we'll send them both out here to sunbathe. Here they go, putting on their sunscreen. <laughs> Getting ready to catch some sun. Alexander needs some sun. He's pale. This makes me want to play The Sims 3 World Adventures. I thought, I thought that was so fun. I know it wasn't one of the most popular um, expansion packs for The Sims 3, but it was really fun taking your Sims on vacation and doing all the little quests and stuff. I really liked it. Even though you had to look at their pudding faces. <laughs> These two have been sunbathing for quite a while. So I'm having them stop because they're starting to get hungry and, need, and have like hygiene needs. They do still want to go buy a souvenir or at least Lucy does. And she also wants to go eat dinner. So let's see if we can take them somewhere to buy a souvenir. Um, I'm not sure if they can buy one here. Oh, Alexandra's just going to go get something to eat. And Lucy is... I don't know what she's doing. She was following him. But she doesn't want to eat here. She wants to eat out. Um, so I'm going to wait. And I think... There's a little stand over here. I started to say shop and stand at the same time. There's a little stand over here where she can buy a souvenir. So I'm going to send her over here to buy a souvenir. She's just hanging out in her uh, bathing suit. All she does is think about babies. She is baby crazy. Okay, they're going to buy this cute little little chest of booty <laughs> to remind them of when they came and had such a great time on the pirate ship and sunbathing on the beach. Okay, so she bought her souvenir. Alexander wants to buy jewelry. So there's a jewelry stand over here. Let's have him go buy some jewelry. I have no idea what kind of jewelry Alexander wants to wear. I think he'd be the kind of Sim that would wear like a puka shell necklace. <laughs> but let's see what's available. We're going to buy Alexander this hemp necklace with the blue bead on it. That's what we're going to get for him. 49 simoleons for that. So he can feel like a real islander, I guess. <laughs> so now he got his souvenir and Lucy got her souvenir. Oh, okay. We need to, we need to put his necklace on him. So let me find a mirror. Or we could just do Gussie up right here. We'll just, he's going to put it on right at the counter. And here we go. Here he is in his necklace. It matches his shirt. <laughs> he looks pretty cute with that. I like that, Alexander. Good choice. All right, he wants to swim in the ocean, and Lucy wants to swim in the ocean. Lucy wants to get something to eat. I think I'm going to send them back to the hotel. Lucy can get something to eat at the hotel restaurant, and then they can go down to the beach and spend the rest of the, their time on the beach there at their hotel. It's 8 p.m., and Lucy and Alexander are arriving back at the hotel. The community time lot mod did work when they took the taxi. Once again, it didn't work whenever they walked. I still have no idea why. I've tried everything I could... Uh, find online to fix that and it still doesn't work for me so I'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> I'm gonna have them uh, take care of their needs and then if they have time they'll go take a swim in the ocean. If they don't they'll try to do it in the morning. Uh, right now like Alexander needs to go to the bathroom and Lucy needs to get something to eat and then we'll see how they're feeling. Okay, well, I was going to send them out to eat and use the bathroom and swim in the ocean, and they decided they were going to come relax in the bed again and try for baby again. Wow, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that they're doing it on their own. You know, it's their decision. They're like, we're on vacation. We don't have any stress. Let's just do this thing. Let's try for baby so that we can have a lot more stress when, whenever we get back home and have a second baby. <laughs> so they went for it and now they're going to sleep so I'm gonna let them be for the night and then in the morning we'll take care of their needs we'll see if there's time for a swim in the ocean I don't know if they'll have time before they leave but we'll try to squeeze that in for them I want them to have as much fun as possible on their vacation and they've already had a lot well, it's Wednesday morning. This is the last morning here uh, on vacation for Alex and Lucy. They no longer want to swim in the ocean. I guess they're over that. Uh, she still, she didn't get the want to go on vacation realized. So I don't know if she had to be the one 
to no she did book the vacation I have no idea. I'm going to keep that locked in. Maybe she'll, it will become satisfied after she gets back home. I don't know. That's really strange. Um, anyway, they're just going to hang around the hotel this morning. Um, she wants to maybe do a little sunbathing. And they have about four hours left until they have to leave. Um, so they're not going to do anything too exciting. Just sort of get ready, get packed up, um, maybe go out on the beach for a few minutes, and then head back home because they're missing Casper. And I haven't seen any signs of pregnancy from Lucy. That doesn't mean she isn't pregnant. If I remember, she's one of my sims that doesn't get a lot of symptoms. But we'll keep watching her and see. Um, if she's not pregnant by the time they go back home, we'll, ha we'll actually make them try since they both do want a baby. I'm going to end part one of this episode here. This was originally supposed to be a long one part episode, but it got so long that I decided to break it into two parts. So you'll get a bonus video this week. Yay! Before we end, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my patrons, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Thank you so much for your support. Bruce is a longtime player of The Sims 2, and you can connect with him on Facebook or his website, which I will link to below in the description box. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. I will see you guys with part two of this episode tomorrow, where we'll celebrate little Casper's birthday and Lucy and Alex will continue trying for another baby. Follow me on Twitter for updates on my current projects, Instagram for pictures from Pleasant View and my custom hood, and on Pinterest where I'm pinning all of my favorite custom content. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com for mods and gameplay rules, or become my patron at Patreon.com slash PleasantSims for access to exclusive bonus content.